Patrick Johansson, President Ericsson, Middle East and Africa. Thank you very much for joining us here at Economy Middle East. Thank you very much for having me. Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you. You've uh, come to the job recently. Um, how has that been? How has the transition been for the region? Um, first of all, uh, it feels in a certain way as a long time, but it is not even three months. Um, and I see that as a very good thing because it's super exciting to be part of, uh, of this very uh, energetic and fastly developing part of the world. Um, I'm so happy meeting all the customers or partners, uh, media, everyone. It is a very warm welcome and um, I uh, feel super energized by uh, just being here. Wonderful. And with that in mind, could you tell us a little bit more what's uh, Ericsson showcasing at Jitex 2024? We're continuing on our journey to see how we can transform uh, the overall networks basically actually societies as well for uh, everyone here in the, in the Middle East and also part of Africa. Uh, and we use that by 5G. Uh, 5G is a technology, yes, for sure, but it is also an innovation platform for the rest of the societies. Uh, upon 5G, you can build your e-government, digitalization, and also ensuring that you have broadband connectivity uh, across uh, all countries. You don't need to have fiber. Now you can use 5G Fire, uh, fixed wireless access to ensure you have fiber-like connectivity basically everywhere. So that's one use case that we have. Uh, we also uh, do AI in practice, I'm proud to say, because um, uh, there's a lot of hype, uh, as we all know, around AI, but we actually implement it into our solutions. So we have uh, cognitive software in the radio networks that do intent-based um, improvements of the network uh, based on AI algorithms making sure that you always get the best customer performance, meaning for us as users, uh, wherever you are. So that's just one use case of doing things in practice. We love technology from Ericsson and we do it for real. And off the back of that, AI and cloud-powered networks, how are they transforming the ICT industry? And uh, what's Ericsson doing to lead the way? Um, it's, of course, a fantastic transformation across the industry. And um, it comes from so many aspects. First of all, you can say that it is uh, about efficiency, making sure that you have more agile operations and so forth. But it actually also has a sustainability uh, angle to it that we that we sometimes uh, over, not overlook overlook rather, uh, from um, from a perspective because once we get everything more automated, automated and um, uh, made more efficient, uh, it actually helps to reduce the carbon footprint as well. Uh, if you look at the ICT industry per se, uh, we're representing basically 1.5% uh, of the footprint, but we impact 15%. So going into cloud efficient operations actually has an overall positive impact for the society, which is another uh, side effect of actually doing this digital transformation. And uh, we, the UAE 2031 vision, how does that align with Ericsson's company vision and how are you leveraging 5G and AI within that uh, framework? That's a very good question because they actually fit perfectly together. It is all about the transformation journey, setting up a very clear target of what you want to achieve. And then you're achieving that target through advanced technology. And uh, being a company who's been around for um, almost 150 years now, uh, we have con continuously been ahead uh, in the curve, whether it's from 1G and now up to 5G, we're building into 5G advanced. And then maybe in the outer years, we're talking about 6G as well. That is the platform for how all of this vision is, is enabled. And uh, we're super happy to be partners uh, across a lot of industries here in UAE. Now, the ICT landscape, what are the foremost trends and technologies that you believe will make the biggest impact for the region? Uh, predicting the future is always very, very difficult. But um, I think uh, together as an industry, we now have cloud and AI being uh, in the forefront of this. And I think what is important is to leverage the current trends. And it is about the ecosystem and working together. I don't think any individual vendor or uh, partner will actually lead that way. It is through that partnership, through the ecosystem. Uh, of course, powered by AI, uh, cloud, uh, other technologies, uh, and it's for us to uh, to uh, enjoy and see how we work together, governments, enterprise, to build this. And if I can finish it by asking you as the president for the Middle East and the Africa region, what are some of the technologies and services that excite you the most? Uh, a lot of things when it comes to technology excites me, but I think it is very much about creating this platform for building other innovative solutions. 
I mentioned 5G as a platform innovation. We uh, now launch uh, uh, through our uh, subsidiary Vonage more detailed APIs because I believe that the innovation is happening uh, across the industry. We create a platform for opportunities and then that is how um, other use cases are being built. And, and this is how that collaboration works together. Working together, enabling future uh, developments, that is what truly excites me. Patrick Knudsen, thank you very much for your insights. So thank you for joining us.